We are here with welcome back to Maxwell Stairs Beer Review. Tonight, here, live, on location at White Tavern, we are going to take a look at a beer that was brought up by. Is it yours, Guy? Yes. Yes. A beer I'm actually. Uh, salty as real balls. Anyway, uh, moving right along, we've got a beer here that's from a brewery I've actually had some stuff from before. This is from Brasserie de Two Frères. Two Frères, I think? Two Brothers. Two Brothers, yep. Yeah. Uh, this is Hickson's B Porter Baltique. Uh, the Hicksons, they sent their IPA to New Brunswick uh, last fall, so uh, I'm familiar. Like, the IPA label was pretty much the same. I reviewed it for my channel. It's a know. shitty fucking label. I'm not getting into that. It's actually nice and embossed. At least that one's not gold leaf text. Yeah, like the, yeah I think the IPA was the IPA was gold foil. Like, I, like the, the detailing here was all gold on a green yeah, label. You can read shit. Well, you can't read shit. All right. Anyway, thanks for <laughs> now that I'm kicked out. Um, this is okay. So Porter Baltique from Hickson. Uh, this is 8.5 percent EBV. Labels written French. Malts. Two ranks. That must be two row. Munich, Vienna, chocolate. Actually, oh, a chocolate malt. Malt. And then of course, uh, hops or fuggles. Cool. Serving temperature to 12 degrees. Might be a little bit warm than that. Let's uh, give her a try. Everybody's quiet because I think I've offended people. Uh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it looks like cola. In fact, I said, cola, cola. it looks like the last two uh, beers that we had. It looks got that kind of tan mocha. He had more tan. Uh, it's got that cola-like appearance to the body. It's got that deep, rich amber brown. <laughs> looks good. Sniff. Ugh. Oh, well, I'll give you a sniff. I don't want to sniff that. I burped. I can only smell my breath off of that. So, mmm. There you go. Chocolate. A little bit of raisin tartness. Slight touch of tannic quality, but. We're getting deep down. It's it's a very mild smell. There's not a lot there. Hmm. Maybe a subtle dankness to it. Not a lot. Anyway, put it down the hatch. Cheers. Ooh, whoa! That comes out with a lot more flavor. I like the the smells muted, but the flavor. It's just bursting with chocolate syrup. That's like the light version of the other one we had. But the Border Baltique? Yeah. I think that one had a lot more fig in it. I mean, I think this is actually weaker in ABV sense, but... Not really getting like any kind of alcohol from it. Uh, I thought it went down pretty smooth. I like yeah. the one better than the other one. Yeah, this is going very smooth. good not incredibly detailed I mean you get maybe something resembling a dark fruit but it's mostly chocolate syrup but at least it's smooth and the more I drink of it the more I'm getting this kind of warming not a borderline burn in the back of the throat but it doesn't really taste boozy going down it's nice I actually really like that nice smooth uh, chocolate porter or not chocolate porter Baltic porter I'll give it a four out of five. I'd drink that again. But yeah, I think I like the McCoslin better. Anyway, um, thank you, Guy, for bringing that one up. I'm glad to finally get a try, and we got two reviews out of this one bottle. Two reviews, one cup. Anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to you folks later. We're okay. Well, I don't know. I wasn't in the room when you poured this. How am I supposed to know what's in here? You're right, I did shit in it. Watching. We'll talk to you folks later. Cheers. It's creamy for a reason. It's creamy for a reason. <laughs> no. Oh.